Animation is arguably the thing that takes the longest when you're designing and building a site in Webflow. So in this video, we're gonna go over five incredible Webflow clonables that you guys can copy today and cut back on that super time consuming animation time. Let's get into it. So the first one here is this parallax effect animation. So once we scroll over here, we'll see that there's a few things happening. Number one, we have the images on the left and right side that are sticking to the background. And then the parallax text here is moving to the left where I'm gonna show you guys how they actually did all of these animations, leaving the links to everything in the description. But it's important to be said that this is not a classic parallax effect. It looks like it when you scroll, but if you take a look at the file itself here and we use the designer just to scroll through here, we'll see exactly what they're doing. So here we have the hero visual. I'm gonna open the layer panel here and we can go ahead and click on the image gradient. I'll give 10 points to the first person that guesses how they did this. Well, the secret is in this fixed or not fixed option. If we click fixed, it stays within those bounds. And if we click not not fixed, it won't stay within those bounds. So this is a very quick way of achieving this type of effect with the parallax without actually going into interactions and doing all of that jazz. This is a very simple way to do this effect. Now in terms of the text, then yes, you have some parallax animation going on where as you scroll, the text moves to the left, but it's not necessarily parallax. So when I saw this, I thought this is a pretty genius way of achieving this effect. You don't necessarily need all that effort to create this. It's very simple. You just add in a div, you add the image that you want as the background, and then you have it be fixed within those bounds. And that would keep it in this type of container. Next up, we have a very simple stacking animation for these type of cards. Now, usually when you wanna achieve something like this in Webflow, it will take you a little bit of finessing to get maybe the size right. Maybe you wanna get it so that it feels like it's like clicking at the right time and it's like snapping onto each other. Well, these guys have done it in a very simple way. So in the designer here, we'll see that we have the cards here so we can have them be stacking and they're all gonna stop at the exact same time and that's fine we can get most of the time there but what happens after they stack that is what we are solving with this clonable so if we take a look at the layer panel here and we see which one of the elements actually has an interaction the section here we go to the interaction panel and we see what is actually going on we see that when we scroll into view it's playing this animation and what's happening is that all of these individual cards are named by a class so feature card and then first second and third and what's happening is that we're reducing the scale and reducing the brightness to the individual individual cards that come after. So here we can see that this filter here is 100% brightness, but then it goes down to 90. So this is the kind of animation that you wanna be doing for something that's very light like this, where you don't need to go in full into, I need to create individual cards and then have them be individually stacking and make it super complicated. Not really, you just need to reduce the brightness a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, and that's all that you need to do for an animation like this. Now next up, we're getting a little bit more advanced here. So this roadmap seems like it's gonna be very, very difficult to pull off, but I want to show you guys this clonable because of how genius it is in the way that they did this. So here we have this roadmap here and the way that it works, if I go into x-ray mode, just like that, we can see that, okay, we have this wrapper, RM item, so roadmap item. And then within that, we have a couple of different things. Let's click into the layer panel. So we have the text. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see. So we have the emoji that you want to add, the text, and then we have a few different spacers, including one that's fixed. And what happens is that even though we have a lot of space here and a lot of different sizes and things going on here, it's all using the same method. So we have these spacers that have a certain amount of length. So if you see here, the RM spacer class has six VW, so six viewport width. And the really cool thing is that if we go into the animation, and this is what's genius about this, we go into the scroll animation that they have, the only thing that is making all of this possible is reducing the size of the spacer. So in this case, we have the RM spacer at a size of six VW, and then at the end, we have that same spacer at zero VW. And that's it, that's all they're doing to achieve this crazy amount of complexity in their animation. So this is a very simple way to achieve this type of roadmap animation for your site without breaking your head about it. All you're doing is that you're adding more spacers the longer you want your item to be, just like this. You can add more or less. And then in the interaction, you're going from 6VW to zero. So that's it. There's nothing too advanced about this. All you're doing is reducing the VW, but it does give the effect that this is a very advanced type of animation. Now I've got two animations left. The last one is absolutely bonkers, so don't miss it. But this one here is a little bit more subdued, but I 
I did think to show it because it's similar to the last one where it has a genius thing about it and that's why I want to show it. So here we have this type of animation where as we scroll down we get these bubbles that kind of appear right or this this kind of style that it, it almost looks endless and you're like how on earth did they pull this off did they manage to get this kind of thing going well in the clonable we can open it up and we can see exactly how they're doing it and it's pretty smart so it also works in the preview here we have all the different bubbles popping up but the way that they did this is they have all the images already set right the design itself is set everything looks the way that it's supposed to we have the text that is sticky so everything is going well but obviously we're missing the animations so basically the way that this works is that we have this team image here and then we have a few different wrappers but the wrapper that is important is this grow animation or let's go ahead and see one from above here let's see if we have one without the delay so grow animation so this class is controlling the entire page so if we go into the interaction panel and we see the element trigger here we'll see that if we scroll into view this is going to grow big and then when we scroll out it'll shrink out so these are the two different metrics that we have to create this animation and the cool thing about this is that we're triggering the class. So every single staff picture here that we have with the same class will have the same type of animation. So you can add in as many as you want or get rid of as many as you want. And this will grow and scale with your site. You don't need to go and do a whole lot more. You just need to add the class and that's pretty much it. So you can see that as we scroll in, it'll grow all of these images and you can add as many of these as you want. And it's always going to have the same effect, which is great. So the last one here, when I saw this, to be honest, it was, it was kind of insane because I knew that this was either done in Premiere Pro where you can kind of, or After Effects, where you can kind of have a lot of control over this, or they're just absolute animals and they did this in Webflow. But obviously it's a clonable, so you can guess that they did all of this in Webflow. And look at how many items here they had to animate to be able to do this. This is just endless. And this takes almost a minute to finish from the bottom up. So I can't go into all this because this would take longer to explain than this video itself. But basically what we're doing here is that we're animating every single little thing about this entire canvas here. We have all of these different layers and everything is accounted for. Everything has a purpose and all of it is, is like a big dance basically. And this is one of the best examples of Webflow animation that I've seen for this type of effect. There's so many awards style and CSS awards that I've seen with Webflow, but it's great to be able to go in and clone one of these and see how the pros really do it. But if you had planned to do an animation like this and you just wanted to see if it was possible, doable, this this is a great way to just see what the world looks like in terms of this kind of style for, for Webflow animation. I do think that this is a great, great clonable for you guys to get. And all of them are going to be in the link in the description. I almost forgot to talk about one thing here. The cool thing about this is, of course, the animation that's going on. But did you know that it's still a working site and they made it look like it's a Macintosh desktop here. So we can click on any of these and if we click on diagram.com, maybe not in the clonable version, but in the real version, these are all real links. So this will go out to the automated website that they have, the magician website, the UIAI. So this is all working, which is absolutely phenomenal. Actually, I can probably see it here if I go into the open the live site. So we can see that even though it's going to load and all the animations are going to play and everything, it's still a working site. I can click on any of these links and it will just open up into a new tab. But I mean, it's a working site with that level of, of animation as your homepage. I think it's just incredible. I think it's genius, actually, pun intended. So guys, if you enjoyed this video or any type of video like this, do let me know because I'm always looking for more things to cover. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.